everyone, welcome back to Adobe Live here on Behance. How are you this morning? How are you this morning? Good. Yeah, feeling better? Feeling I slept. Great. <laughs> Sleeping is important. If you are just tuning in for the first time, we are focusing on vector art this week. This is sadly the last day of this event. Mm. I know, don't leave Julia. Stay in SF forever. Oh, so we do have amazing designers here, and we right now have Julia Zoavo. Hi. Hi, you guys, well, you remember Julia. Please say you do. She's been making, what did you do the first day you did? Past travels. Yeah. So maybe we can show. That's yeah, a great idea, sure. actually. Um, focusing on travel this entire week for you. Past travels, this is New York. Yeah. Because you just was. moved there recently. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Last year, I moved to New York. Mm -hmm. So my past travel here on the yes. left is uh, inspired by the lake in Central Park and what people can do on the boats. Mm -hmm. All kinds of things they can do on those boats. <laughs> <laughs> some crazy things, some regular things. Yeah. <laughs> and yesterday we focused on future travels. Mm -hmm. Very future travels. Very future travels. Yeah, so. so space. And you focused on like what annoys you yeah. during your travels, right? <laughs> yeah, traveling mm -hmm. these days inspired me about what really annoys me mm -hmm. when I'm traveling. So I did this aliens that are doing annoying things like speaking loud. At the yeah, front. right. There's the guy that's talking while he's driving. Creeping yeah. <laughs> and then there's you right in the middle. And there's me so, in the middle, so a little amused. bit annoyed. <laughs> yeah, just a little bit, too much. And this is also different from the first illustration because it's more of like a central uh, element in your illustration. Mm -hmm. In the first day, it was kind of like a pattern. Yeah. Cool. So how will today differ from yeah, the first two days? I'm trying to do, to do, you know, every day a different, slightly different style, even if the style is pretty much the same, but mm -hmm. to show what I usually do mm -hmm. in, my tra in my work. So right. sometimes I do patterns, sometimes I do more consistent illustrations. Right. And like compositions. And today I'm going to do, I'm going to do stickers. Stickers. So hot right now. So trendy. Stickers. Yeah, so that could also be conveyed as like icons or yeah. emojis, like yeah. we kind of sure. uh, talked about. Cool, and so you're doing present travel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So inspired by my days in San Francisco. Yeah. Until now, I went around a little bit. I have one more day yeah. to explore. I hope but it's sunny for you. I will show you what I saw in my trip around. I was going around walking because yeah. I really like like walking. Awesome. So I will yeah, show you what I saw, basically. Great. So we have two hours here with Julia. Uh, about an hour and we're going to be doing a giveaway of three amazing posters that were created here live in the studio by three amazing illustrators. We got Rabzilla. Yes, I got it right. Uh, Jingwei. <laughs> no. And Christine Heron. They're all 11 by 17. They're beautiful and they would look great on your wall. So all you have to do is be active in chat. Uh, ask questions, ask Julia, because this is your last day. Ask last day to ask questions. Uh, in about an hour, we'll pick a random winner. And then, during this whole stream, there is a contest. So the first two days were different themes. First day was emojis, mm -hmm. based on your work. Second day was an avatar, uh, also based on your work. But today, it's different. Today, the contest is to create a map. So Sarah Bell is our last uh, designer for the day, and she is a cartographer and she is showing us how to build maps in Illustrator. So here is an awesome free template from Esri, which is the company that she works for. Uh, you download it and it has layers, you can turn them off, you can manipulate them. So you can zoom into just one continent, you can uh, choose the whole world and make a map of something. Maybe nice. you live, yeah, maybe you live in Los Angeles and you wanna make a map of your favorite places to see cute dogs. Like, it could be anything. <laughs> So you have about an hour and a half to get those in. The cutoff is at 12.30 Pacific time, hour and a half. Get those going and we'll look at submissions uh, as they come in. Sound good, chat? Awesome. Cool, so we can jump into your yep. screen and let's get started. Sure. So today I have a slightly different setting. I mean, I have the main, oh. my main, here mm -hmm. is the same as the other days, but I did also six smaller. So I will put my icons here and 
then we can see how can we use it. Maybe we can have all of them together in the same square, or maybe we, we can have six squares with the caption. Right. We'll see. Cool. Well, and it looks happens? like maybe you use the artboard tool to draw mm -hmm. those little artboards. Yeah. Yeah, such a handy little tool in the newer versions of uh, Illustrator. You can just draw artboards, yeah. or you can uh, build them through flyout windows. I really love that now you can select them all. Right? And it's like its own them. asset. Yeah. It's great. Uh, Pauline, should we install and use the plugin to complete the challenge? Yeah, if that makes it easier for you, definitely. But all you have to do is use the template that Esri provided. Yes, that's a great question, Adobe Live Team. When you think of San Francisco, what comes to mind? So here I have the six things that I would like to draw today mm -hmm. because are basically the things that I enjoy the most doing these days. So I met Sea Lions that <laughs> I never met before. Yes. And they were really funny to see. Yeah, they're very rude. Yeah, they're always like fighting. Yeah. And, but there are some that are like in the corner, just sleeping, oh my just gosh. like, leave me alone. Mm -hmm. The funniest is when they <laughs> fall off what they're sleeping yeah. on. They're so peaceful <laughs> and then they just start rolling. It's amazing. <laughs> and then I almost saw the Golden Gate Bridge almost. because there was a lot of fog. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so it was a little bit yeah. hidden. Did you know the fog has a name? No. His name is Carl. Really? Carl the Fog, yep. So when you see him, you say, oh, hey, Carl. You're blocking <laughs> my view, Carl. There you go. And yes, the other thing are the painted ladies that are the colorful houses. Mm -hmm. And then I reunited with Milan Strand because oh. you know that some of the ancient trams of Milan have been moved to San Francisco. I had no idea. So when you see the orange tram, probably oh. is one from Milan's old tramway. Why did they do that? Do you know? I don't know. I was reading something yesterday, but mm -hmm. I don't really know. I think that. The designer originally was American, okay. so they just acqu uh, acquired them yeah. and put them together new yeah. again, right. and now they are using. Huh. So it was nice, you know, I was in Milan, I lived in Milan for nine years, mm -hmm. so view, uh, seeing a tram yeah. from Milan was like, oh! Yeah, you're home. Good to see you again. Reunited, that's great. And yes, then I have visiting Chinatown and eat with seagulls. Oh. <laughs> did they eat okay. your food or did you feed them? I think they ate my food. Oh no. <laughs> also rude boys. Man. So yeah, let's see what what happens. I can use the grid today because I'm working on stickers. So oh. a useful thing that I do when I do stickers like this, I name the artboards. Oh, okay. Like so here we have Sea lions. So when I export them, uh, they will be already named. Oh, that's great. A little life hack from Julia Zoabo. <laughs> yes, then gate and Carol. Painted ladies. Anyone in chat, have you seen these things that Julia? has seen. I think I've experienced all of them except for the Milan tram because I didn't know to look for it. And seagulls. Did you eat in Chinatown or were you just visiting? Yeah, I ate in Chinatown mm -hmm. some noodles. Nice. With crab. Really oh, good. Oh, it's probably fresh. I really it's good. Fresh. <laughs> I've had dumplings in Chinatown that were just delightful. So let's do this uh, sea lions first. I have to see them. Yeah, I was gonna say, how do you draw uh. a potato with big teeth? <laughs> oh. oh, just one. Mm. Okay, okay. I was right, looks like a potato. <laughs> Shanice, you say that you want to visit California soon and maybe live there one day? Awesome. Oh, this one. Oh, that's really cute. It looks like a dog, kind of. <laughs> I think sea lions look like dogs, dog potatoes. They are so weird, but why they are there? They just stay there. That's a good question. 
<laughs> yeah, I guess. They're comfortable, people feed them, <sighs> take pictures of them. They sleep all the time. They sleep or eat or talk. Yes. Right. Oh, hi, Fadwa. Thank you for joining. Thank you for being here. Anyone else just joining for the first time? We'd love to say hello to you. And yes, Dan, that is Adobe Stock that you are using within Illustrator yeah. to get reference. A really smart uh, tip. I hadn't thought of that before. So, one thing that I do when I have to design something, when I do stickers that have to be really, really simple, mm -hmm. if I don't know how to, um, to draw something or how to simplify mm -hmm. the most, I look at that and then I close my eyes and I think about the things that I really remember about them, mm -hmm. like the main traits, the main yeah. things, and then I try to focus on that. Okay. So if I close my eyes now, I see this part. Everyone close your eyes. This part. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And of course the eyes and this big, yeah. big head. Blob. So let's see. <laughs> Dan, I actually noticed that you had a new profile picture and it looks like Julia's illustration. Uh, <laughs> nice. The hair, exact it's like the yeah. exact little same hairstyle that she used. Are you wearing a Mickey Mouse t-shirt too? Oh my <laughs> gosh. So have you created these kind of things for clients before? Yeah, I did. Some for, um, I had one client here in the US mm -hmm. that has an app, uh, a sticker app. And I did some, it was, uh, yesterday we tried to do, to watch it. Oh. But it was edu content, I think, on Behance. Edu content on Behance. It was uh, a set of stickers based on American slang. Oh. So, like when you say happy as a clam, yeah, or it was really useful actually for me because I didn't know any of this. So is it on your Behance profile? Yeah. Okay. I'm logged in this time so we can, uh, we can actually look. Let's see. Oh, sticker slang. Here we go. Yeah. All right. Maybe we can pop over to my screen and take a look. So the company is called Sticker Slang, or that's just what? Uh, it was only the, um, the, pack. the app, yeah. Gotcha. I love that beer goggles. <sighs> right, what do these mean? What do these mean? Butt dial? <laughs> uh, Lots the, what, of which ones? There's butt dial. Yeah. Chick magnet. Yeah. There's a lot of other ones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Clickbait, hair of the dog. Yep. These are pretty good. <laughs> So take a peek if you'd like to look at them on your own time. Follow Julia on Behance. Uh, you can do that by going to this link, behance.net slash Julia Zoavo. Oh, look at that. It's the sea lion. You did it. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's done. <laughs> Ship it. Uh, are now, she is working with the mouse, the trackpad. Mm -hmm. So just clicking, clicking points. And that's really a pretty efficient way to use Illustrator, I think. And yeah, when I'm doing shape, I can use the trackpad. And mm -hmm. Sometimes I even work from my couch that is just not right. <laughs> not great for your <laughs> posture. <laughs> Mitch says, it's not potato enough. It must be more potato-y. I also want to remind you, chat, that uh, drinking water is important. We both have our water. <laughs> it's good to move, even while you're just watching a stream. Got to stay agile. You never know what's going to happen. So let's make it more potato. <laughs> let's make it more <laughs> potato, because Mitch said so. <laughs> yes, yeah, Cedric, stretch. Do you ever water. work on the couch? Uh, yeah, I <laughs> shouldn't. So I usually use a tablet, which makes it pretty hard to work on a couch. But if I'm drawing like on an iPad, oh yeah, you know, you know I'm sitting on a comfy couch. So 
Uh, today my swatches are all the colors that I used in the past oh, great. design, so mm -hmm. I have them all together because I will draw also people, so um, I added the skin tones. Nice. But the colors are basically remained the same since day one. I just added to purple yesterday. Oh yeah, for the background, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Rattan says, it looks so easy when you see someone else doing it. Uh, yeah, it's very simple, but simplifying is oft like often way more tough than decorating, over-decorating. Do you want to do a giveaway of some water? <laughs> Thank we're, you. We're good. Thank you. Now we got double waters. <laughs> Thank you, Adobe Live team. Oh, that's a great tip, Natalia. Thank you so much. So Charlie Lewis, you're recommending them to be a designer on Adobe Live. Everyone go check out Charlie Lewis. So this is gonna be you. This is gonna be me. Communing with your new friends. Yeah. And taking pictures with him because everyone is basically taking a lot of pictures. Yeah. At the sea lions. Taking selfies with them, getting bit. They're mean. They are mean little creatures. I also wanted to ask you, chat, do you have any questions about like Adobe Live or the team? We've got a pretty bomb team. I'd love to give them some shout outs and some love. Work hard behind the scenes. There's about mm, 30,000 of them. I see about 20,000 right now. It's a crowded room. Mm -hmm. Oh, Micah, that's a great goal. Your goal is to be good enough to be on Adobe Live. Good New Year's resolution. Uh, how many people do you usually have working there to make the stream happen? Let's see if Adobe Live can give some, give some hints. It's a lean team, very agile, very quick to pivot. <laughs> Tim, yeah, we hired about uh, 30,000 people. <laughs> 30,995 people. Oh, Joe, how's it going, my friend? Good to see you here. Look at you. You're getting dangerously close. <laughs> <laughs> There was one sea lion completely separate from the other that was sleeping while oh. everyone was having a lot of... Yeah. <laughs> he was jet lagged probably. It was super. It was me. It was me. <laughs> yep. We just traveled across the ocean. Yeah, people are saying Aaron Draplin. So Adobe works with uh, the Drap Dog. Often he's usually at like Max. Very <laughs> conferences. I gave him a fist bump one time, it was pretty cool. Uh, Joe wants to know, will you be adding textures? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. It's been pretty flat the last couple of days, mm. right? Yeah, I want to stay consistent with the other two days. Mm -hmm. and, but if I had to add texture, I would use, use a pen, a tablet, mm -hmm. and, uh, and Photoshop, right. of course. So actually kind of painting in some stuff. Yeah. Choose a brush. And then just. Yeah, but just <laughs> scribble. That's pretty much what you do. <laughs> um, somebody is saying that they'd like to see Jessica Walsh or Stefan Sagmeister here, and you worked at Sagmeister, right? Yeah. You did yeah. a little internship there? Uh, I was. How was that? I um, It was not an internship, it was. Oh, we sorry. collaborated on a few projects. Okay, collaboration. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes we still collaborate. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. 
Was that just kind of a natural the connection that came to be, or how did you guys meet? Um, yeah, it happened that Jessica wrote to me and my boyfriend mm -hmm. because she saw some works that we did, mm -hmm. and she wanted us to do some project together that involved illustration, and yeah. mainly vector illustration. Yeah. Cool. That's awesome. Are those Anya Behance, or are they uh, secret? No, they're secret. Oh, cool. <laughs> no, one was the... Um, the New York Times cover. Okay. Oh, the cover, yep. That we did with them. Let's see if I can find that somewhere. Maybe my flatmate that is working at Submaster is watching. I don't know. Hello. Hi, Matte. <laughs> He's Italian. The, um, it was crazy because when we went to Submaster for the first time, there was me, my boyfriend, and a friend of ours mm -hmm. that was Italian as well. Oh, okay. Uh, which we worked with him at BBDO. Mm -hmm. So it was just a like a big reunion at Sagmeister. Great. And that was crazy, you know. There were there are like twelve people at Sagmeister, and three of us were right. already friends. Mm -hmm. That's great. So when we entered the room, it was like, Matte. Yeah, you're <laughs> home. And everybody was probably thinking that Italians are <laughs> like super friendly or yeah. or they are like five. So they <laughs> just meet <Right>. everywhere. <laughs> well, I think it's true that you are very friendly. At least <laughs> the Italians I've met. Uh, I pulled up your New York Times cover. Mm -hmm. So inside the identity crisis, ruling the Republican Party. Awesome. So it was both, both digital and on the actual yeah. cover? It was really interesting to do this work because everything was done for real. Oh, traditionally painted. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Like oh, so you? It's a photograph. I have uh, no idea. Yeah. I knew there was something like yeah different about it. It was really nice because you know usually I work like by myself, mm -hmm. but here there was a team. So uh, I did illustration, someone else did the uh, set design, mm -hmm. and then there was the photograph and Colossal, uh, Colossal Media did the painting. Mm -hmm. So it was so interesting to see all the process. Yeah. So many different, you know, professionals doing uh, really good work. It was amazing. Right. It's a great environment, so collaborative. Beautiful work, says Sarah. Agreed. So somebody uh, noticed that you don't usually draw the mouth. Is there a yeah. reason or just kind of that's part of your style? Mm, I mean, I used to draw the smiles, mm -hmm. but when I do, I don't do the nose. Oh. So it's always like, always or the nose or the mouth. Yeah. Huh. I don't know why. Interesting. M uh, I think it's to be... Um, yeah, like here, for like, example, yeah. I only do... Maybe we can mouth. pop over. I think Perfect. it's part of the being minimal yeah. philosophy, you know? Right. You need... Sometimes you don't even need the nose. Right. Sometimes I only do the eyes. Yeah. Yeah, it's crazy with a specifically a human face. You really don't need anything. We all just have that visual icon in our heads. This is so cute. Ah, uh, the corgi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the corgi, your famous corgi. I love these. So what was this for? If Magazine. Yeah, it's um online magazine. It's great. So I'm doing the covers and I'm having so much fun mm -hmm. because I'm designing the covers every month. Really? And That's great. every time is a different theme, but always related to technology. Mm -hmm. So it's always, you know, a, a new challenge every month. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions and chat about uh, Julia's freelance work, please ask us or ask her. <laughs> ask me, ask me. Yeah, you only Whatever have... Whatever you want. Right. <laughs> You've been really educational. I know people have gleaned a lot of info from you, and you have about an hour and a half chat, so get those questions in. Okay, so sea lions. It's done. Pretty done. Oh, my goodness. You're flying Hello. through these. And... What happened? This. 
when I have three and then I will see how to manage them in the Gotcha. I love his whiskers. The square. It's a perfect little design element. Uh-huh. Bye bye. You can go. So which one what's next? The ah uh, the almost so the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh right. That silly fog. That was the best part of I mean, seeing the Golden Gate Bridge mm -hmm. was like I'm I'm here. Yeah. It's real. And it's <laughs> good that you saw it with fog because that's that's how it is. It's part of the experience. Right. <laughs> yeah. So where were you? Where were you looking at it from? Uh, from the seagulls, uh, the sea lions. Oh, okay. Place. Nice. <clears throat> um, Rodrigo is interested in seeing how you use the cut tool. Do you use it often? The cut? Yeah, or make building shapes. Um, so maybe, Rodrigo, you can watch how she builds this next icon and ask um, some so specific to, questions. Uh, like I did here, for example. Mm -hmm. Like here I wanted to shorten the, right. the whisker. Mm -hmm. So I just you put use a second yeah. point mm -hmm. and then right. I so did this. There's a tool that you can also use the add anchor point tool, but you're using the uh, the cut tool. Mm, I use uh, use the pen tool. Oh, the pen tool. Mm, okay. Yeah. I st I'm thinking about if I use the cut in some ways, in some other ways that could be interesting. Mm. Mm. I'm thinking about, I okay. will think about that and if I have something in my mind, I, I will show you. Gotcha. And Jeffrey, that's a great question. Uh, if these are stickers, are they to be printed or are they just going to be digital stickers? I think digital stickers, mm -hmm. but... I'm, I'm working in RGB, mm -hmm. of course, so, yeah, but maybe I, we can only, uh, also print them. I mean, in Illustrator, yeah. the good thing is that you don't need to, you can do them as big as you want. Yeah, right. This is the great thing of vector mm -hmm. of style, so maybe, maybe we can print yeah. it. Jeffrey, the answer is both. You can do whatever you want. I was thinking that maybe the golden bridge, the golden bridge today. I, I can't talk. <laughs> it's uh, not even golden. <laughs> it's definitely red. Yeah. <laughs> or orange. I don't know. Yeah, it's some sort of non-gold color. I was thinking that maybe he's hiding because he's ah, shy. Ah, Francisco says it is international orange. International orange. The more you know. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know. That. Another useful thing, maybe, maybe, is that when I do the um, this like command plus, mm -hmm. when you are selecting something, the zoom in will right. go there at this mm -hmm. because sometimes you no, know, you don't have it selected, so the zoom just goes. Yeah, it goes wherever it feels like it. <laughs> so remember to. Um, I'm saying it to myself also. Yes, right. Remember to select. Right, right, right. <laughs> Ooh, Hessel, that's a great question. Uh, how was your move from Europe to New York? Was it difficult? My move from Europe? Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, I always dreamed about living in New York. Oh. So psychologically, mm -hmm. emotionally, yeah. it wasn't hard because, you know, um, of course, I miss my friends, my family, yeah. but it's not that hard to travel. Flights are pretty cheap now mm -hmm. between Italy and the US, so on an emotional level, it wasn't hard. Mm -hmm. On a um, professional level, I mean, I'm starting again right. from zero, yeah. so um, yeah, a little bit, of course. Yeah. But Seems like you're doing all right. But yeah, I mean, I'm do, I'm always saying if I don't do now, I will regret it forever. Yes. So it's always worth it to mm -hmm. try. I agree. Let us know in chat if you've ever made a big move before. Um, I recently moved from Ohio to California, so that was tough, and that's only three thousand miles. 
And yes, there is a theme to these stickers. So the first day it was past travels, second day future travels, and today present travels, which means San Francisco. That's where we are. That's where Julia is visiting. So these are little San Francisco icons and illustrations. Oh, Vanessa moved to Turkey and back. My goodness, Lisa from Stockholm to Malaga. Goodness. South Korea, Moscow, and New Zealand. Man. Wow. It's lots of moves. I mean, it also depends on how much do you love the city yeah. you're going to. Mm -hmm. I always, going to New York was my dream for a long time, mm -hmm. so it was like natural in some way. And I was really lucky because I moved with my boyfriend, so mm -hmm. it wasn't that hard. Mm -hmm. And I have some friends here, so here in the US, so it was easier than moving in a place that I didn't know. And I was traveling to New York before, um, I traveled before, mm -hmm. so I already knew the city, I already knew some people, so mm -hmm. it was, you know. That makes sense. Yeah, it, you really have to make the move worth it for you, you know? Are you gonna feel like you have a purpose in this new place? It's always up and down, you know? I of think course. it's mm -hmm. always like this in life, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and you said you're an only child, so your parents are yeah. upset if you don't come yeah. and visit them. <laughs> My parents are here, I think. Paris? Ciao. Ciao, ciao. Ciao, mama, ciao, papa. <laughs> <laughs> I hope they are here. Do you think they would know how to chat? Yeah, yeah. We'll see, we'll see if they appear. Uh. <laughs> so if you are just joining us, we've been live for about 30 minutes with Julia Zoavo. Uh, this is the last day that we're gonna have her with us. So sad. Um, and if you want to check out the previous streams, they are on the Creative Cloud YouTube channel. So they are already up there. They're already um, ready to be viewed. And this stream will be up there right after it finishes. So you have about 30 minutes until we do our giveaway. We do a giveaway every stream and the giveaway prizes are beautiful posters that were created here live uh, in the studio by awesome illustrators. We got Robzilla and Jingwei and Christine Heron pieces to give away to you. So all you have to do is be active in chat and we will cast Adobe Magic and pick a random winner. We also have about an hour left to get your contest entries in. Uh, the contest is a bit different today. It is based and inspired off of Sarah Bell. She's a cartographer and she will be here live from three to five. So in a couple hours, uh, all you have to do is go to the contest tab on be.net slash live, get the info on that. You can download this template, which is the theme for the contest. It is to make a map. She is a cartographer, so it makes sense. Uh, use the template that is provided and you could zoom in on a continent or a country or an area. Uh, turn off layers, turn them on, do your thing, map out something that means something to you, and submit it. All right, I'm going to stop talking now. <laughs> and you're done. Look at you. Yeah, I was thinking <laughs> that maybe he's just shy. Aww. So that's why he's under the fog. Yeah. He's behind the fog. Mm -hmm. I don't know, maybe we can also add a face to the fog. Maybe he because she likes has a the name. fog. <laughs> yeah, it's a him, I think. Let Carl. Me, let me see. Mm hmm so he's just hiding behind his friend. I would put a mouth yeah. on Carol. <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh. Uh, Yashai, yes, you can change the colors and style of the template. Basically, just use it as a template and then do your thing. You could even watch uh, Sarah's streams from yesterday and the day before if you need some help on how to use it. About the cut, I was thinking that maybe a way, I mean, in Illustrator, like the good thing is that you have many ways to do the same thing, mm -hmm. so there is no right or wrong thing. But, for example, a thing that I do with the cut, if I have a circle and I want a half a, cir uh, a yes. circle, I can do this, like, see, mm -hmm. cut, and cut this one, and this one. There you do go. This, mm -hmm. Or I can do uh, a rectangle over here. Uh huh. 
and use the pathfinder. Is yes. Or the shape builder. Pretty much the same time. Mm -hmm. It takes the same time. Yeah. I don't know. I use them both, but yeah, no right or wrong uh, reason. But I'm sure there are things that cut is the best tool for. Just like pathfinder might be the best tool for other things. More or less the same. <laughs> Another thing that I usually use, but I didn't these days that much, are the guides. They're so useful. So in this case, I'm using them just to see if they're the same weight, more or less. Mm -hmm, right. Visual weight. Mercedes says uh, they use the Pathfinder most often. It seems most clean, most efficient. So which one? Ah, the Painted Ladies. Painted Ladies. For those of you in chat that don't know what that is, it's like a series of really cute, brightly painted houses uh, made famous, well, by a lot of things, but also the show Full House. You can see it in the... The intro. Let's see. This one. Mm hmm. Here they are. I love the name, the painted right? ladies. Me too. So maybe I can do some houses that are ladies, actually. Oh. Some Victorian old ladies. Yeah. I'd love to see how you do that in your style. Mm. There's some awesome submissions so far. I'm excited to show you all just a little bit. Maybe we'll show a couple after we do the giveaway. How you doing, Dusan? Welcome back. Colors of these houses. Mm -hmm. They're amazing. I wonder what the story is, the history. Chat, let me know if you know anything about these painted ladies. So you actually went and saw these? Oh, well, did you go and see these? Uh, uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. There's a nice park right in front, so it's pretty easy to yeah. go see them. It's really nice. So I'm using my face, but I'm changing the style. Ah. They have to be old ladies, I think. Yeah, they're very proper. Okay. And Yashai, today's topic for streaming is you are, or Julia is working on stickers or icons, emojis, um, kind of standalone little objects that. Uh, stand for something else. Laura, my question was, does anyone know the history of the Painted Ladies? Like, why they exist? Julia, other Julia says, it looks like one of the houses sold for $3 million. Whoa. Honestly, in San Francisco, that seems low to me. <laughs> it's wild here. Okay, Adobe Live, thanks for the info. Ooh, a monocle? Glasses? Oh, no, hair. <laughs> oh, yeah, but we, we can do the monocle. Yeah, if you, if you have any suggestion on Victorian, mm -hmm. like, uh, gadgets or yeah. something like that. Let us know, chat, any ideas to how to make these ladies look very Victorian. <laughs> Maybe this is too light, this gray. Hmm, could be. 
I like that. Kind of a warm gray. Where is her mouse? Uh, you are using the trackpad. Yeah. So just clicking on her laptop. And it's so big uh, in these new um, laptops. Yeah. So it's really useful. You could add an umbrella, says Jesse, like mm -hmm. a parasol. A ruffled collar, yes, definitely. High collars, mm hmm. Fancy hats, <laughs> curly hair. I love this. I'm excited to see how you build these houses. Mm, I have to think about that. Yeah, how do they actually look? They're really complicated, actually. They are. They have stairs, they have a lot of windows. I love the part, the windows that goes. Mm -hmm. The bay uh, windows? Yeah. Some flowers, that's a good idea. Maybe they're drinking some Ooh, tea or something yeah. together. Tea and crumpets. They're gathering to have tea together. Yeah, they're gonna <laughs> gossip about all the ruffians at the park. Lace, yeah, that's a good idea. How much time is left on the contest? There is about 50 minutes left. So 50 minutes to get those maps submitted. You can download the template. Uh, find the link on the contest tab at be.net slash live. If you're watching us over on YouTube, come on over to Behance. That way you can uh, chat and be in the know about everything going on. Crowns. That's a good idea too. They are very regal. And if you have any more questions for Julia, please ask them about her career, her style, anything. Mm, I don't know because I wanted to have three ladies, mm -hmm. but I'm afraid that it would be a little bit disrupting this size. Right. So maybe we can have just two. Cool. Of them. See how it looks. As if that's a great question, what size and resolution do you usually work in Illustrator? And that's the cool thing about Illustrator is it's vector based, which basically means it builds the shapes out of mathematical equations and algorithms. It's not pixels. Yeah. So you don't really have to worry about the resolution. Uh, you can basically scale it infinitely. There are of course some constraints, but it's pretty tough to hit those constraints. So you could make it one by one inch or centimeter and then you could blow it up to be 30 feet by 30 feet. Oh, William, that's a good idea. They could be knitting or petting a cat. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that's nice. Mm -hmm. So let's do one with a cat. And one with a tea. Perfect. Mm, tea sounds good right now. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, that's a good question, Lisa. Julia, do you work in a different color scheme if it were to be printed? Or would mm. you change your color mode? Yeah, I change the mode, mm -hmm. of course. Mm -hmm. To CMYK? But I always try to use the same, you know, kind of colors. Yeah. Of course they will be brighter mm -hmm. if I'm working for the screens. Yeah. And if I'm working for a print, they will obviously be a little bit more not that brighter. Right. Yeah, that's something I learned in school after I had to print all of my projects out. They would always come out uh. too dark and you're like, wait, why is this always happening? But if you think about it, uh, on a computer screen, it's emitting light, so it's automatically going to be brighter. And when it's printed, it is a flat image, 
and doesn't have any light bulbs in it. So keep that in mind. Mm. Oh, that's a good idea. Other Julia asks if you have any of your own artwork hanging up in your apartment. No. No? <laughs> Do you have any <laughs> artwork? Uh, yeah, I have some. Mm -hmm. I did um, an exhibition some time ago mm -hmm. with small square illustration. It was a series because it was all the alphabet. Mm -hmm. But I gave them away to my friends. Oh, so nice. now a lot of my friends have them mm -hmm. in their house. Oh, that's and sweet. So I basically gave the the initials mm -hmm. of my oh, friends cool. to them. So they could some of them I, I sold some of them actually. That's great. And some other I um, how would you recommend selling artwork? Did you do it in person or was it online? That time was in person. Mm -hmm. It was really nice, you know, to see people going around, watching yeah. your things, smiling. It was nice. But I usually, I don't have so many things. I don't sell things mm -hmm. usually. Mm -hmm. I should start. Yeah, Maybe I've been interested here. in getting into it too. I love handmade things, like I love yeah. handmade cards and mugs, so I'm like, why not make the things that I love? Oh, thanks for following me, Lisa. Appreciate that. Gotten a lot of new Instagram followers. Probably you have too. It's yeah. Great to have yeah, this community you. on Instagram also. Yeah, thank you very much for following me and everybody was really kind. Thanks, chat. <laughs> Appreciate you. You are so well behaved. Very proud of you. I wonder what they're talking about. I don't know. The weather. Um, really the weather. Yeah. <laughs> like, wow, it's really cloudy again. <laughs> They're talking about Carol. Oh, yes. The love <laughs> interest between the gate and the, and the fog. Yeah. <laughs> There's an affair going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> no, because the bridge is always is obviously too scared for everything. Yeah. <laughs> So one with a cup of tea, one with a cat. I'm excited to see this cat, <coughs> this giant cat. <laughs> Cody, are you new to uh, Behance Live? Also, Kathleen, <laughs> Voodoo Val, I'm a pro. Thanks, Val. <laughs> uh, I've been live streaming since 2015. Started on Twitch. actually done many a stream with Miss Voodoo Val and we just met in person for the first time so that's amazing so you met on Twitch before mm -hmm. and then in yep. yeah Adobe used to stream on Twitch then we uh, jumped over to Behance this is our home now oh thanks Val Yeah, a lot of people in chat are actually from the Twitch days, like Cedric. Who else in chat? I saw Joe Faber, he's from Twitch. Let us know. Uh, will the hosts of Adobe Live make art on the stream? Actually, Julia, I believe next week, other Julia, not this mm -hmm. Julia, next week I'll be uh, making, doing some lettering art. I'm excited. So I often feel like a lot of people are like, who's that girl that is talking? Like, what does she do? Like, I promise I can do some stuff with an iPad, I promise. Yeah, Jan Eric, he's always around. Oh, the tea. What kind of tea do you think it is? Earl Grey? Yeah. Yes. The fanciest tea. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, Star Crunch was on Twitch. Very cool. You guys remember when Star Crunch used to stream on Twitch? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, Randy, that's great. You are an in-house designer and when work is slow, you come here. What kind of design do you do? I'm interested. And chat, if you are an in-house designer or if you are working at an agency or doing something creative, please let us know. I love hearing all of the different uh, jobs. <laughs> Daryl, explain Twitch to someone who has never seen it. Twitch mm -hmm. is like this. It's just a live streaming platform uh, with a bunch of different creators. Oh, cool. Vanessa is at an agency. Julia, other Julia, is a student at Parsons in New York City. Wow. Nice. It's in your neck of the woods. Tiana is in-house. Julie is in-house. Lisa does your own designs and offers them at museum stores. Wow, that's really interesting, Lisa. What kind of designs? Micah is a freelancer in LA. So is Will. Not in LA, though. Randy says, I want to go to Parsons for your education. So you've been a graphic designer mm -hmm. in-house. Yeah. Uh, you've collaborated with other agencies. Any other, like, job titles that you've had? No, I'm just graphic designer and... I'm the art director of a blog, mm. online blog. Cool. It's about my. Um, it's. Um, I will turn to explain that. It's an <laughs> Italian magazine okay. about uh, women's world. Oh, cool. Uh, about everything. Mm -hmm. Like from everything that can be uh, recipes or lifestyle mm -hmm. or politics mm -hmm. or uh, female rights mm -hmm. or. Pretty much everything. Cool. And I'm the art director of the magazine. That's awesome. How did that come to be? Uh, it happened that um, this was founded by a girl. We are only girls. Mm -hmm. We are like 60 girls, I wow. think. Wow, 60 girls. It's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> and it was 2011, I think. And the founder of the magazine asked me to um, write for the magazine. Yeah. Uh, to find inspiration of design, things like that, talk about designers. So I did, I was a contributor for a couple of years, two, three years, and mm -hmm. then I became the art director. Wow, that's and great. It's, it's seven years now. Oh my goodness. Working for them. Yeah, and you said you wanted to do copywriting first. Yeah. So you love writing, I'm yeah. assuming. Mm -hmm. That's something we have in common. I think writing yeah. was one of my first loves too. I'd love to combine those two. And that's kind of why I got into illustration, because it's like mm -hmm. storybooks, words and images together. Yeah. I'm not writing anymore that much. Are you writing mm, right now? Not really, no. <laughs> I write like in a journal, but nothing substantial. I'd love to write like articles. Mm -hmm. about things going on in the world. Look at that cat. I thought it would be gray. That seems to fit. Mm. I came back because I wanted to do the ear darker. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yep. The little things. Oh, Laura, that's cool. You have a brand of stuff with your own illustrations. Nice. Like physical objects. We do have about seven minutes until we do our giveaway. So stick around Yay. in that. Make sure you stay active in chat. Yes, Adobe Live Team, create a login. If you are just watching and you haven't chatted yet, just say something, one thing, and that uh, can enter you into the giveaway. Say something helpful, constructive. That'd be great if your mom or dad said something uh, and they won the giveaway. <laughs> yeah, mom, dad, say something. Come on. <laughs> Could you hear that, chat? <laughs> <laughs> A little bubble sound? Some ASMR going on? Oh, yeah, Yashai, who made the posters you're giving away? 
Uh, so we have Robzilla with the Mr. T illustration. And I actually kind of want to give some background on these. So the Mr. T illustration was created on the iPad uh, using Adobe Draw, which is a mobile app that's based around Illustrator. Uh, it's really cool. You can draw, you know, with your finger, with an Apple pencil, uh, some sort of stylus. And if you have a CC subscription, you can send those images straight to Illustrator and you have them in vector format, which is really, really amazing. Um, the middle one is Jing Wei, and she made that live here in studio. It was based around the theme of pool party, and chat was just giving her ideas of things to be in the pool, mm -hmm. like a cat and a dog and an octopus. So that was really awesome. And then Christine Heron, uh, all the way by my head, she made these travel tags. So Christine loves to do um, print-based things like stationery and uh, journaling tools. Um, so she did these travel tags for chat members. She asked where they were from. Um, they've got San Francisco and Boston and Brazil, all kinds of places. So all of these pieces were made in an interactive manner, which is really, really amazing. And you could win all three of them. Oh, Yashai, you won yesterday. That's great. Oh, Miguel, you received them as a gift, too? I'm so glad mm. it got to you. That's awesome. I think the pool party is uh, really cool. Robzilla is here in chat. Did you guys know if you say Robzilla three times, he has to appear in chat? Mm. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> it just happened. <laughs> so welcome, Rob. He is the uh, creator of that Mr. T illustration. Click on his face, and you can see his Behance portfolio. Yes, he is like Beetlejuice. That's a cute cat. A fat cat. Yes, the best kind. Sebastian, I agree. He says, incredible how such simple shapes can tell such a complex story. Yeah. It's incredible because when you design faces, just a small, small change can change oh, everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, or if someone's like, can you draw me? It's like, yeah. there's so many tiny nuances yeah. to your face. Like, it's tough to draw someone and have it actually have their likeness. Like, here, look at it. If you <laughs> change and put the eyes here, yeah. it's totally different. Right. Here is more like plumsing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, or if you spread them out really far, uh, it yeah. looks like really silly. Uh, yeah. <laughs> if it was like this. Or if you cut the eyes like I did yesterday with myself, yeah. mm -hmm. it's like a bit angry. Mm -hmm. It's like this. <laughs> yeah. He is not amused to be <sighs> taking this selfie. Just some details, but they change everything. So, yeah, maybe we're almost done with the ladies. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll go back later to change something. If yeah. We have time. So, we have three. I want to see what happens if we put a background. Oh. Just colors? Mm. Yeah. Like, so it can be both stickers or a collection. You can put them on Instagram and swipe. Mm hmm Oh, those are great Instagram posts. You're gonna make six Instagram posts. It's <laughs> quick and easy. Yes, Val, we've got 30 minutes until the contest is over. Uh, you can check out the contest tab on be.net slash live. It is to make a map. So it's inspired by Sarah Bell. She's another one of the uh, designers here this week. She's a cartographer. Check out that contest tab. You can download the template and it's very easy. Just open it up in Illustrator and you can manipulate it from there. Make a map of whatever you would like. Uh, we have two minutes until the giveaway. And if you're just tuning in, we've been live for about an hour with Julia and she's Hi. making, hello, hello, making stickers of her present travels in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. So they're very, they're varied, like super different. Mm. Well, uh, what do you think, background or? I like the background. Or not background. <laughs> As of right now, I like them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Especially the blue and the red. Mm -hmm. I don't know how I feel about that deep purple. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, maybe it can be a little bit lighter here. Like, we can change Yeah, this. I can change that. That looks very kind of soft and vintage. Oh, the cat needs a tail. That's a good detail. Ah, yeah. You're right. <laughs> Voodoo, you you brought Kylo Ren with you? Prove it. Ooh, nice. So changing little little details to make sure those colors work. Change this. Ooh, I like that. Nice contrast. Yuri, you said you just tagged us on Instagram? That's awesome. Yuri, I was checking out your Instagram. You are talented. I really like your your uh, work. So let's make a tail to the cat. <laughs> Looks like it got stepped on. <laughs> uh, Juliano, yeah, I have a Behance portfolio. I think it's behance.net slash Kathleen Adobe. That should get you there. Sorry. Less. <laughs> less. <laughs> Sorry. Mm, thanks, Yuri. Nancy, thank you. This is one of my thrift store finds. American Thunder. Nice. Yes, the back's the best part. I'll show you guys. It's a power bear. Uh. <laughs> a bear of power. I like to surprise people with it. Yeah, Julia, other Julia. I agree, animating this would be really cool. And that's one of this Julia's resolutions for this year. Yeah, mm -hmm. I have to do that. I was thinking about also yesterday. I have to do that. Ah, this is the time where Here my it comes. stones. <laughs> I was surprised that it was not. And I did, I had breakfast. Really? It just knows. It's like, oh, there's a microphone close by. Let me growl really loud. Uh. Man, I had oatmeal right before this. Uh. The combat, the stomach growling. Okay. So we can also have a caption so it's more clear. What is that about? That's cool. Yeah, I think that might be helpful. Maybe we can do a separate. Uh, I did something with the layers here. Oh, stop it! <laughs> it sounds like a thunderstorm. <laughs> Just rumbling. <laughs> um, uh, oh, okay. Confirmed, you cannot hear it. So next time your stomach grabs, <laughs> make sure you stand up so they can hear it. <laughs> That's the weirdest ASMR to ever exist. <laughs> oh, Shanice, yes, thrift life. I love thrift stores. Very passionate about them. Oh, me too. Yeah? I was about to ask if uh, you are a thrifter. Yeah. Mm -hmm. My coat comes from... Oh, really? Yeah. I was admiring it. It's really nice. It was $30 find. That's awesome. I uh, traveled back to Ohio for the holidays and the thrift stores there. Everything's li like 50 cents or a couple wow. bucks. Compared to even California, things are like 10 bucks. And they're like, that's a steal. And I'm like, no, no, my <laughs> friend. <laughs> That is trickery. My whole outfit's from the thrift store. As it usually is. I'm not a good searcher when oh. I go. It's just, I don't have patience. Oh, yep. But if I see something, it's like yes, that's instant it. love. Mm -hmm. I'm the opposite. I will look through everything. <sighs> like even the men's section, sometimes the kids' section. You never know what you're gonna find. 
and I worked in the fashion industry for a short period of time, mm -hmm. so I feel like I can like see things and like know automatically, no. like even on a rack, I'm like that, that quality, it's good. I'm not that good, not at all. You need to take me with you, and I will yeah. find all the good things. Max Lions, almost sold the Golden Gate Bridge. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is it Yuri? That's awesome. Oh no, Shanes. I need to go to rural Ohio and you get the best deals. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a great question, uh, Christiane. And sorry if I'm saying that wrong. Please let me know how to say it. Um, how do you plan how long you will spend on your illustrations? They just You just do them? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I can think about how much it will take, but sometimes it's totally wrong. Yeah. And sometimes it's, right. it's totally different from what I planned. But I, I know now. I know how much will it take to yes. do something more or less. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's such a good point. I think you can see a project and yeah. know like that's gonna take me three hours, or that might take me twelve hours. Actually, for me, the longest part is the thinking about the concept, mm -hmm. because as you can see, actually doing, doing the actual layout, is pretty fast mm -hmm. because there are simple shapes. I already have my style a little bit defined, so more or less I know what I'm going to draw. Right. But I can spend like two days thinking about the concept. Right. Yeah. It's because really important. If, if I'm not happy about the concept, I I can stay up all night thinking oh, about man. that. Yeah, I'm obsessed. <laughs> That's good. You're committed. <sighs> and I uh, have been talking about thrifting and art too much, so we are past the time for the giveaway. No. Chat, why didn't you tell me? No, just kidding. I actually uh. saw that you told me a couple times. Uh. Uh, we have a giveaway. So we will be giving away three amazing posters. Rob Zilla is in the chat. He created uh, Mr. T. I almost said he created Rob Zilla. He created Mr. T. We got Jingwei's pool party and Christine Heron's travel tags. So all you have to do is be active in the chat and uh, answer a question for us. What should we ask them? Mm. Or you could just say anything. You can just say hi. Yeah, you already tell me where you're from. Mm -hmm. Tell me your pet name. Oh, <laughs> yes. Or if you don't have a pet, what you would name your pet? Yeah. If you had one. Uh, we just want to get some interaction going with y'all. This is a community that we really love and cherish. So let us know about your Noodle. pets. Noodle is a great name. Yeah, it is. Roxy, Pity the Fool. That's amazing. Uh -huh. Rob, do you have a dog named Pity? <laughs> That's really uh, good. Dog named Chick. <laughs> uh, Kukui is a dog. My dog's name is Kakashi. Aww. He's awesome. Taito. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, so you could win these posters. Stay active in chat. We will do some Adobe Magic and get a name chosen uh, out of a magical raffle system. So get those chat lines going. You also have about 25 minutes to get your contest submissions in. Uh, today's contest is to make a map. And if that sounds really daunting, no worries. Sarah Bell is a cartographer that we have here in the studio today, and she has provided um, a template from Esri. It's uh, the company that she works for to make a map easily on Illustrator. So if you go to the contest tab on be.net slash live, then, let's see if I can get it open <laughs> so I can show you the template. Go to be.net slash live, click on the contest tab, and you will see a map file link, which is opening right now. This is a live link, so it has layers and everything. Use it to make a map and submit that in the next 20 minutes. Awesome, we have a winner. Do you want to read the name? Shanice Jones. Yay! Congratulations! Congratulations! You have won! Say something in chat. Let us know that you're here. You've won these amazing posters, and Adobe Live Team will be in touch with you on your Behance messages. Congratulations! Hooray! Let's see if she says something. 
Does she know Is she, she won? Here? I know, she was she was chatting. She walks away right at this moment, probably. <sighs> hey Jacob, welcome to the chat. Oh yeah, okay, she says thank you. No problem, ah. thanks for being here. No worries if you didn't win the giveaway. There are, let's see, two more chances to win today. And of course, come back next week. We'll be here Tuesday through Thursday, 9 to 5 p.m. Pacific time, and we'll be focusing on lettering, which is very excited. Um, and you could win some giveaways or win uh, the contest then. Ooh, I'm excited to see this. Good try. They're basically square rectangles. Boop. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, hi, Sophie. Welcome to the stream. Eve says this live is so helpful. It helps me to survive the winter depression in northern Germany. Uh -huh. Yes. I, I feel you, Eve. Breathe. Come join the fire of Adobe Live. It's a very warm, warm community to sit with. So can you do this off the top of your head or do you need to look at a picture? Yeah, I remember it. Yeah, <laughs> that's good. But let's see what happens because I want to show you which one it is. Yeah, I'd love to see it. And while you're doing that, I'll get some contest submissions. Oh. It's, it's this one. Oh, cute. I have seen that. This one wow. is exactly the tram we have in Milan. So ah, cute. you can see that, Milan, Italy. Hey. Hey, hello. I've seen that. I think I saw that in uh, Coal Valley, which is a part of San Francisco. All right, let's get these contest submissions open. There are quite a few. I'm proud of you, chat. And I do want to just let you know, chat, if you do enter the contest and you've won previously, uh, you're still eligible, but eligible for a different prize. Got to keep things exciting here. The clothing company I used to work for has a store in Milan, mm -hmm. and we made like a special T-shirt for that store. So I've I've drawn I've drawn these cable cars oh, or yeah. trams many times. I didn't know they were a specific color though. Yeah, they can be green or orange is the most mm. famous one. Mm -hmm. Yes, Yuri, we got your submission. No worries. No worries, Yuri. And Sarah, yep, we got your submission. And I see a lot of these submissions, they're all uh, really good and strong, but you can zoom in if you would like to. A lot of these are of like the entire world, which is totally cool, but just know that you are allowed to zoom in. You could zoom in on a country or uh, where you live, a continent. Cute. Ah, oh, Vanessa, that's a great question. Can you please explain what the artboard is for? I'm still confused. Do you have a good way to explain it? Um, it's, I use them, like here, for example, I'm using six because if I'm, if I export, they will be separate files. Yes. So, that can be really useful, you know, mm -hmm. to... Um, and if you name them, as I did, mm -hmm. here, we can see that. Edit artboards. I have all the names here, mm -hmm. so when I will do the PNGs, for example, or the JPEGs, they will be already named. Yep. So I don't have to stay there and rename everything mm -hmm. again. Yeah, so Vanessa, an artboard is basically like the canvas 
that yep. your art is on. So say you um, make some art, put it on an artboard on Illustrator, but some of it is hanging off the edge. Uh, potentially when you export it, only the stuff that is on that artboard will be exported. That will be your image. So that's why you see a lot of people using Illustrator. They'll make things off to the side and then drag it onto their artboard. Uh, that's kind of your working surface. All right, maybe we can look at some of these giveaways. I mean, not giveaways, contest entries. Sound good? <laughs> really cool. So what to toast when you travel? Yeah. Beer, wine, or spirits? All right, let's see. We're in San Francisco, so it says wine would be good mm -hmm. or beer. Let's write some Napa Valley. Yeah. Wine. I'm down. Nice job, Tiana. And you used the um, template from Esri, but you changed it a little bit. So that's really cool. All right, hop over to the next. This is by Yuri, a girl lived in. And this is uh, each square is a month mm -hmm. and each line is a year. Very nice. Yuri, you are well traveled. Wow. So you're in the USA for one, two, three, four, six, seven years and one month. Wow. Japan for pretty much your whole life. That's great. Awesome. And you just you just moved, right? Was it to the Netherlands? Really nice. Wow. Mary. You just travel a lot. Mm -hmm. I like your uh, c uh, color scheme. Monuments in the world. Nice. Cool. Oh, the Golden Gate. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys are both working friends. on that. <laughs> yeah. There's a little Zeppelin and some uh, hot air balloons just floating around. Mm -hmm. Having a good time. Nice job. This one's pretty cool. I believe this is one of our previous winners. Nice. It looks very futuristic and tech. Mm -hmm. Techy. Is this by uh, Ibrahim? Is that right? Mariana. Let's see. From Argentina to mm. the world. So what has Argentina provided? <laughs> drinks. Soccer. <laughs> style. More soccer. Drinks. Not sure what this is. Is tango? Oh, dancing, yes. Nice. And it's really cold down here, so that's accurate. Nice job, Mariana. Fashion around the world. This is by <laughs> SF. So different styles provided from different places. Nice, I really like to see how you all use the template and changed uh, the mm -hmm. settings. Cool, global oh. warming. <laughs> it's all underwater now. It's like a future map. Pangea map. Nice job, Chris. Here's Chase. Layers like an onion. <laughs> so what is this a map of, Chase? Is this the data of the world? Let us know. Alrighty. This is by Dan. Mm. Cool, so this is where everyone is from. Michigan, London, Sydney. Nice job, Dan. We have one more to look at quickly. Mm. <laughs> this is where creativity is, made with love. Nice job, Sarah. Thank you for submitting. So we have about uh, 10, 15 more minutes to get your contest submissions in. 12.30 is the cutoff Pacific time. So get those submissions in. Uh, I'll curate this list a little bit, and then Julia will have to pick a winner. Yes, the last winner. Mm -hmm. For me, at least. <laughs> True. Hmm, so many great choices. Oh, Laura, you were on the swimming team for eight years? Nice. So that global warming map is no problem uh. for you. Is Rob in SF? Robzilla is here? Yeah, Frederick, we are in San Francisco. So that is why Julia is focusing on her present travels, mm -hmm. which is San Francisco. 
How is your jet lag feeling? Any better? Yeah, better. Mm -hmm. I woke up at seven. So. Better than, what yeah. did you say the first day? Like five? Oh, like five. Mm -hmm. It's a pretty long, long travel, so it's... <laughs> Mukasa, what are the tricks on how you perfected this? It's amazing. How did you perfect it? Like in college? You've been drawing in this style since you were little. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So it just takes a lot of practice. And we were kind of chatting about this yesterday, but um, letting your hand make the art it wants to make. Not trying to force uh, style. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can always learn different styles, but um, do what feels right. As if says, I like the color she's using for the artwork. Yeah, so this is the color scheme you've been using for the last two days. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I would leave him alone. <laughs> I mean, He's so happy. Here. You could Hi. be in there. Uh, I could be in, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Alexander, how much time do you need to make all these images? I'm sure if I wasn't here talking to you, you'd be done already. I don't know. No, maybe not? Uh, <laughs> let's see if I can do all the six. What, how, many, how much time do we have? Mm, 40, 40 minutes. minutes? I think you can do it. Maybe, I see. <laughs> uh, do we ever use Wacom tablets for working? Yeah. 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 This yeah. week, not so much. A lot of the designers are using their trackpad. Um, but you said you use one yeah. when you're putting in digital textures. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes I do um, different style, like I um, with a pen. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay, so you actually draw and drop the points. Not so much, but sometimes oh, I do that. Yeah, right. When I do, I use the pen. Gotcha. <laughs> You're peeking over? Yeah. Hello! <laughs> Hello, San Francisco. Hello, San Francisco. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Chris, welcome to the stream. Uh, this is the, kind of the finale of Julia's adventure of mm -hmm. her streams. So the first day she did past travels and focused on a pattern-based illustration. Uh, second day, she did future travels and focused on making one complete composition. Then today is present travels in San Francisco, and she's making more stickers or icons. Yeah, Mukasa, keep practicing. So, I have the Chinatown one. Mm -hmm. So it would be me eating noodles. That's going to be cute. Noodles. Uh, noodles. I love noodles. Me too. I love Asian cuisine. Yep. My favorite. And here in the US, it's amazing. Really? That's good to hear. In Europe, it's not that. I mm. mean, we eat a lot of sushi in yeah. Italy, mm -hmm. but we don't have so much, so many Vietnamese or Thailand mm -hmm. restaurants, and I love them. So. I'm, in New York, I'm always eating oh, yeah. Thai and... Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have a Thai restaurant right by our house. It's like, yep, let's hit that up, please. It's delicious. Yeah, it's really good. There's also really good Indian food in San Francisco. Mm -hmm. I'm not going so much often, mm -hmm. but I don't know why. It's actually really yeah, good. really good. Everybody in Italy is really concerned, you know, how, how do you eat in New York? <laughs> really good, actually. Yes. There are a lot of good, very good Italian restaurants. Oh, good. Good pizzas hey. everywhere. You actually, you can know. You know good Italian food. <laughs> Wayne says, what Julia is doing would take him weeks to finish. Really? Uh, really, no. Wayne? Come on, give yourself some credit. <laughs> you chat, you are a rambunctious bunch of people. <sighs> Love it.
Yep, Adobe Live Team, seven minutes to submit to the contest. Please get those in, and if uh, we don't get to show them during this stream, we will show them for the next one. You have uh, Marley coming up next with Paul, and then Sarah Bell is finishing out the day with some map making. So what kind of noodles were they? Was it ramen or... Um, oh, rice noodles. Okay. Good. Do you like spicy oh. food? Yeah, mm -hmm. but I'm not really... I mean, if it's a little bit spicy, I'm already like dying. Oh, really? So, <laughs> so you like it, but you can't really I like it. it, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Yusuf, that's so true. She's combining the two uh, color schemes from the last two days into one. Mm-hmm. Very cohesive. And yeah, Tiana, that's a great point. Using the align tool uh, is really, really an efficient way to get things lined up. Mm-hmm. Oh, thanks, Simon. I was like, like hot I was dogs. thinking about how. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do they look? They probably are a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. And there are more of them. There is more. Like, I will. I will do my favorite oh, comment. Yeah. <laughs> the magic command. Yeah. Yay! So that's just command D, make a duplicate. And it moves it the distance that you moved it previously. <laughs> Jeffrey loves the ramen bowl, this the noodle bowl. <laughs> yes, I agree. Oh, Andre, that's awesome. Japanese food is delicious. I'm thinking about adding something because I was actually reading. Oh, cool. When I was eating, so I can add a book maybe. What were you reading? I was reading an Italian book. Mm -hmm. Really nice. It's like poetry. Oh, cool. But I think it's not out except for Italy now. Oh, I see. It's a love story, so I was crying. Like, no. A lot. <laughs> it's a love story in poetry? Yeah. Wow, I love that. It looks like you're looking at a phone, which you were not doing. You were being a good girl and you were reading. Mm. I always get really self-conscious because I like to read on my phone, and I think people just think I'm staring at like Instagram <laughs> or something. I'm like, no. I'm bettering myself. <laughs> yep, Dan, thank you for the uh, call to action. Four minutes for the contest, so get exporting because you still need a little time to upload it. And then you said you'll come back and kind of look at all of them. Mm -hmm. and make them yeah, sure. Match up well. Cool. Uh, maybe I'm not satisfied here about the distance between the head. Probably here is better. I was thinking maybe I can add. I was eating crab. Oh. So maybe I can put a crab here and was reading with me. Oh, cute. And then uh, you eat him. And then I. It is. So dark. I'm crying for the book. And also He's crying <laughs> yeah. for me. Because he knows what's about to happen. It's just got way darker. Oh yeah, adding some steam for the noodles. That'd be a good idea, mm -hmm. Asif. Let me do this. I do the seagull first. Ah. And then if I have time, I go back and do the crab. That's smart. Making smart design choices here. Uh, 
so I can have the six of them. So eating with the seagull, I need to see the seagull. I saw so many, yeah, but I don't really remember them so well. Ah, they're everywhere. They were all in line, like. Oh yeah. Really? <laughs> what were they doing? Like this? <laughs> <laughs> there are even places that are like nowhere near the ocean. Yeah. Yeah. Like get out of here. <laughs> I live like 30 miles from the ocean, and they're still hanging around in my backyard. <laughs> Yep, there's the perpetrator. There he is. So I'm eating with them. So we can both look at the menu together because ah. we both love fish, probably. True, both love crab. It's funny, you're eating in two of these icons. Yeah, because I'm always eating. <laughs> oh, getting hungry. <laughs> Have you eaten in the cafe at the other building? Uh, yes. no. It's Not pretty yet. good. I'm thinking about like, hmm, I wonder if we'll have noodles today. All right, Voodoo Val, you called it. That's the contest deadline. So we will look at all the submissions that came in before the deadline, uh, and we'll look at the rest for the next stream. So uh, maybe you could finish this up and then we'll, mm -hmm. we'll look okay. at them. Yeah, no rush. There aren't a million submissions like there were the other days. What's the best thing in the Adobe Cafe? Hmm, Adobe Live Team, what do you think? Had some good tempeh yesterday, they've got good burritos. Mm -hmm. I think the coffee is really good. They got good matcha tea lattes. Are we looking at the same menu or two different menu? Oh. Maybe the same. Yeah. We are I like that. Together. Cute. Oh, Voodoo says spicy broccoli soup. Is that good? I didn't didn't see that. Sounds delicious. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, don't close okay. Illustrator, please. <laughs> save, save, guys. Yes. <laughs> Command Sometimes S. Sometimes I forget. I would, the first day, I think. I don't think you saved the whole time. I think at some point somebody in the chat said, yeah, save, save, guys, and I was like, oof. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> that didn't happen. Jesse says, really nice workflow. Thank I you. I agree. Mm -hmm. It's very, um, once you start, you just keep going. Yeah. There isn't a lot of back and forth which makes it really entertaining to uh. watch. Robzilla says he wants you to do a family portrait for him. Ah, yeah, sure. That sounds like a nice thing to do. Have you done that before? I did some children books oh, for, cool. um, for, I mean, I know some girls that their sister had babies. Mm -hmm. So they asked me to do the, um, the book about their children. Aww. So me and a copywriter that I know, mm -hmm. they, uh, we did um, this book. That's awesome. This was the closest thing to a family portrait I did. Right. That's really cool. It's pretty much a family portrait. <laughs> Andre thinks it's a ghost. It's a ghost oh, bird. No. Cool. Nice. Just the little details, it changes so much, like tilting the beak down. <laughs> we are really, really concentrated. <laughs> it's We're important. The menu. So it probably has a wing. I'm almost done. The wing is probably gray. True, true. Oh, nice, Dan. You posted your entry on Instagram, too. Awesome. Yeah, I think these contest entries make awesome portfolio pieces, too, if you're, if you're proud of them. Mm -hmm. 
Almost done. She's flying through it, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. And once she finishes up, we will look at the contest entries. Uh, you can win a free year of Creative Cloud by taking part in these contests. There is one contest uh, winner every stream. So you have two more chances if you don't win today. And then if you come back next week, I'm sure there will be more contests. So find more about the contest at the contest tab at be.net slash live. Today is all about maps and making a map. We have a cartographer streaming with us this week, Sarah Bell, and her work is the inspiration for today. Check it out. Okay, I'm here. Y'all, she did it. In an hour and a half, she did six uh, independent illustrations. Here. Let's give her a round of applause. Oh. Uh, Chat. <laughs> Thank you. Yay. Awesome. So you have these six illustrations based mm -hmm. around what you did in San Francisco. Um, maybe we can chat more about them and mm -hmm. kind of recap mm -hmm. after we pick sure. the contest winner. Sure. All righty. Oh. Yep. All right. So we ended on uh, Sarah's entry when we looked at them previously. Then we can pop on over to that. Sweet. So that's the last one we saw, and then these are the new entries. Uh, mm -hmm. This looks like an updated one from the first stream. Fish Minnesota. Mm -hmm. Awesome, ice fishing. I like this one. It's, mm. uh, it shows when you're living on the other side of the world, but mm. you're still up for Adobe Live. Sorry, Julia, I screenshotted the live stream and stole your color scheme. Mm -hmm. Sure. Smart. Mm. So I'm sorry you're so tired, but thank you so much for entering the contest. Got a postcard from the world from Julia Sams. This is a really nice kind of mm -hmm. vintage color scheme. Marley in the house. Welcome, Marley. Hi. How are you? <laughs> we got mysteries unsolved. Spooky. Whoa. What kind of mysteries lie beneath? It's awesome. I love the colors. Very ominous. And this is how he feels about the world. <laughs> He's on top I of love it, the mustache. Right? And there's a wiggly kind of forehead wrinkles. Super cool. So we'll look at all the entries mm -hmm. and let me know if you have a favorite. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. <laughs> I like this. Yeah, cool. Check it to the top. So friendly. I love our mm -hmm. community. Right yeah. In that one. They're all really nice, actually. Yeah. Uh huh. Mm hmm. This one is so nice. Mm hmm. All right, so maybe these two? Mm hmm. And maybe I would pick the global warming one. I cool. like the concept, and it's also more a map. Yes. Right. So, it's very creative. Yeah. So nice job, Chris. This one, Chris. You have won. Hooray! Round of applause. Uh, you have won a free year of Creative Cloud. So thank you so much for submitting. And um, if you didn't see your post, it's because we kind of curated the list from the first group that was submitted. And then uh, there are a couple that didn't make the deadline, so we'll look at them next stream. So congratulations, Chris. Yeah. Your time was well spent. So Adobe Live team will be in contact with you on your Behance messages. Woohoo! And if you didn't win this time, no worries. There's two more chances to win today during Marley and Sam's, or not Sam's, <laughs> Sarah's streams. <laughs> Who's Sam? Mm. Well, <laughs> um, so stick around for that. I'm just taking a little fish to the menu and then I'm finished. Okay, you say that, but we'll see. That's a classic artist thing, like five more minutes. Five more minutes. Because uh. <laughs> you always remember about something that mm -hmm. you could put into the... Yeah. There is that point where you could just work on your art forever and you just have to decide. Mm, it's yeah. done. And uh, Ibrahim asks, can I resubmit again for the next stream? You can resubmit only if it's a completely new design or there are major updates, like basically something completely new. All right, Dan, see you. Thank you so much for being here. Come back next week. Look at that. Yeah. Hooray. Done. So let's look at them all. Let's. Uh, See mm -hmm. how the story unfolds. Tell us the story. I could export them. Okay, cool. So we can see them. Mm -hmm. We can also see how the names 
Okay, so I choose only the artboard that I mm -hmm. actually used. So it would be in my export. Awesome. And you exported for screens, so that yeah. is like a very specific preset. Yeah. So mm -hmm. I have all of them here. So this is my story in San Francisco so far. All right, I'm excited to hear. Uh, <laughs> I saw the um, sea lions mm -hmm. and I took picture with them. Yes, a selfie? I took a selfie, not with a <laughs> selfie stick because I don't have it. Oh yeah. But I took some selfies with mm -hmm. them. At the same time, I saw the Golden Gate mm -hmm. bridge, but he was hiding behind the fog. Carl. <laughs> <laughs> behind Carl, so we... <laughs> I thought that maybe he's just shy and he's hiding behind his yeah. friend Carol. Aww. And then I saw the painted ladies that are actually houses, but yes. we can imagine that they are two old ladies, cat yeah. ladies. <laughs> Two old cat ladies catching <laughs> up over some tea. <laughs> With some tea. Then I read a book while eating in Chinatown some noodles. Mm. Oh, but you're not crying. That's something you um, had later. I didn't cry. <laughs> <laughs> I cried, but... Yeah. <laughs> okay, let's forget that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And then so the tram that I used to take in Milan. Oh. So that was a reunion. Mm-hmm. And then I ate fish with seagulls. Yes. Because we bought that thing. <laughs> That's awesome. Where did you eat it with the seagulls? Was it on the pier? Oh, uh, yeah. Yep. There you go. All right, Chad, which one is your favorite? I can show them all to yes, you. No. Here. Do you have a favorite? Um, The cat ladies. The yeah. painted ladies. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like them, too. Got some personality. All right, Kelly says the seagull is her favorite. I think I like the sea lion the most. <laughs> He's very cute. Calliope says the ladies, sea lion selfie. Yes, I'm with you. <laughs> Painted ladies, the bridge, selfie. Cool, I hope this is inspiring to you, chat, to um, make some very simple kind of icons or images of experiences that you've had. Uh, maybe we can look at all of your illustrations again mm -hmm. that you've done over the last yeah. three days. Sure. Get so about. I can open. Oh, nice. Them all. Perfect. Daniel likes the noodle one. So this is the new collection, and that was the first day mm -hmm. with all the people in the in the lake. Yes. Your Some of them. Place? Yeah, my favorite place in Central Park. Mm -hmm. Some of them were suggested by the yeah, community. Yeah, thanks, Chad. And my actual favorite was suggested by the oh, community. The, which one? the guys working oh, on yeah. the boat. At the bottom. Was a suggestion mm -hmm. of the chat. Mm -hmm. Also, the um, periscope here. Yes. Was suggested by the chat. Creeping around. Actually, it was all made. It was a brainstorming between. It really was. Me and you, mm -hmm. so it was really nice. <laughs> oh my gosh, Cody totally has it. Selfie stick theme. Oh, uh, yeah. Selfie stick in this one? Oh, no, this I, <laughs> I don't know why. Love the I'm selfie stick. I'm obsessed sticks. with selfie <laughs> Maybe because I never bought one, yeah. but I really wanted one. Oh. So it's still in my mm -hmm. back, the back of my mind. Yeah, someday you'll get one. And then you won't make art about it anymore. <laughs> so the first day, we've talked about this a couple of times, but the first day was more like of a pattern that you were mm -hmm. creating. Yeah, sure. Mm -hmm. So this could be, uh, if you built it a certain way, it could be a repeating pattern. Mm -hmm. But this is more kind of like a mock-up of a pattern. Mm -hmm. I don't think it would actually repeat. Um, cool. And then the second day was a full composition. It told, tells an entire story in one image mm -hmm. uh, about the things that annoy you yeah, when you when travel. Traveling. Yeah, let's look at all of them. So there's the guy that's on his phone while he's driving. Yeah, I don't like with, when people are driving and texting. Yes. It's something really dangerous that I don't mm -hmm. like. I don't like when people go too fast yeah. in cars. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Especially with dogs. Come on, take care of dogs. <laughs> and so I made a little poliscope. Yeah, with his little police stopper. Yeah. Things that only <laughs> exist in Italy. <laughs> yeah, this I discovered that it's just an Italian way yeah. to stop people in the car. <laughs> and then there are people who are reading your paper or your iPad when you're 
Yeah. Traveling. There oh, are people shopping. that are talking too loud that I actually really hate. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> and there are people that are crunching when they're eating. They're oh, yeah. Eating mm -hmm. out loud. I feel like his whole helmet should be filled with crumbs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> and then you're just in the middle, so unamused. <laughs> oh, man. Awesome. And, and yeah, but it was great because it was all shared, you know? Like, guys, what do you think? Yeah. What do you like about this? I should do that. Yeah, that's a great thing about this community. It's very back and forth. Um, lots of great ideas flying around. Yeah, Roxana, very creative using spaceships as cars. <laughs> very Jetsons like. Future travels. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Ooh, Did I didn't either. This? Don't you love it when you just track that? Whoa. <laughs> That's like a nice animation, too. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, this is what you've done for the last couple of days mm -hmm. in San Francisco. Voodoo Val says, all of your illustrations this week are so amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah. I agree. Thank you so much. So we have like five mm -hmm. to seven minutes left. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could put some like finishing touches on yeah. what you've been working on. I know you wanted to add the crab. Yeah. Maybe. Cool. We can add the crab here. Crying with you. <laughs> <laughs> Over He's probably in a plate. Oh, yep. Yeah. Please don't eat me. Please don't eat me. So were you eating the crab by itself or was it in your soup? Uh, your by himself. Oh. That sounds so delicious. I want some. I was locking. Uh, today I didn't use the layers, so I was locking and unlocking all oh, the time. Oh, I see. Rob says that he sent you a message about commissioning a family portrait. Ah, yeah, sure. <laughs> nice, Rob. I can say no to Rob. No, <laughs> no way. <laughs> That's awesome. And everyone, before we uh, leave in just a couple minutes, make sure you're following Julia on uh, Behance and I almost said Illustrator. Nope, Instagram. <laughs> so your Instagram is just uh, Julia mm -hmm. Suavo. Yeah, it's just my name. Perfect. And your icon is very similar to one of these faces. So you will yeah. know it's Julia. Yes. Uh, on Behance, it's just the same thing, behance.net slash Julia Zoavo. You can appreciate her work. Feel free to follow me too. Thanks Adobe Live team for providing the links. Um, and what else? What else do we need to wrap up? Any last thoughts? I just want to thank everyone mm. because it was so fun, really. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. And, it, and thank you for your message and messaging me and tell me and sending you sending me your stuff. Yeah. It was really really cool to know that you liked it and it was amazing. Thank you for to everyone. Thank you, Kathleen. That was oh. my amazing host. Oh, thanks. We made it and very was easy. Amazing. Yay. What a great week. Yes, thank you, Julia. Thank you, Julia. So many people. Thank you for submitting to the contest, because that's scary. I mean you if you haven't submitted work before or shown it in public, it can be a really scary thing. I would miss you guys. Aww. Yes. And everyone, don't worry. It is not over for the day. We have two more streams. We've got uh, Marley coming up next with Paul. Yep. And then Sarah will be up later with me. Yeah, the schedule will be on the screen in one moment. Perfect. We already had the amazing Justin Mazel uh, doing awesome vector illustrations. We have Julia right now, soon to be over. No. Got Marley come up next, also working on vector illustrations, and Sarah Bell to finish up with some map making and cartography tips. Yeah, I know, Yuri, it is the last stream with Julia, so sad. I'm so sad. Well, you're just as sad as this crab. <laughs> <laughs> so I will add one more leg and then the tears. Oh. And then. Wonder what color crab tears are. <laughs> Probably blue. Blue. I mean, yeah. <laughs> it's your world. You do your thing. <laughs> Aw, his little arm. Don't eat him. <laughs> no. Julia, how could you? I feel so bad now. <laughs> I shouldn't have drawn this. Oh, <laughs> now you're connected. You're never gonna eat crab. Yeah, again. yeah, yeah. It's when you like when you name something. You, know? mm -hmm. <laughs> you can't exactly. Dangerous. Like I can't eat rabbits because I had a rabbit. Oh, there you go. 
You know, eating rabbit isn't super like popular in the States. It's not? It's kind of like a, like, oh, you've eaten a rabbit before mm. kind of thing. Yeah, in Italy it's pretty much. Yeah. You only really funny. eat rabbits if like you, you hunt them and yeah. provide them for yourself. But it's pretty tasty. <laughs> yeah, Monty the crab is like, oh, crab. <laughs> oh, crab. Pun intended. So, let's do the tier. And we're over. There you go. So, do the tier. That's what I do. I do the Just a square. Diamond? Oh, perfect. And use the fabulous mm -hmm. round corner. <laughs> oh, maybe I can just do this a little bit. Oh, nice. Yes. And John and Chad, any tips about designing your Adobe, Adobe portfolio? Go ahead and ask that question for the next stream. I would go into it, but we don't have a lot of time right now, but I'm sure Paul could uh, give you some tips. It's really simple. And since you can upload straight from Behance, it makes it that much easier. Oh <laughs> Man, so bittersweet. So cute. Yes, Tim, LMAO. It's so cute, but so sad. <laughs> Oh man. <sighs> oh. There you go. At least he was delicious. More delicious than he knows. <sighs> All right, Chad, any more final questions or comments for Julia? We've just got like two minutes. Two whole minutes. Are you excited to uh, be back in New York? Yeah. Yeah, finally. I'm afraid of the winter, but. Oh, is this your first New yeah. York winter? Well, you missed kind of a blizzard, so that's good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, thanks, Vanessa, for the candy. <sighs> All right, chat. Thank you. Yes, totally nice. Agreed, gracias. Love it. Thank you so much for being here, Anna. Super cool. And stick around for the next stream. We've got Marley coming up next with Paul making some awesome illustrations in Illustrator that involve a lot of gradients. Really beautiful. Um, stick around if you want to learn more about that. This stream will be up on YouTube right after it ends if you'd like to rewatch, as well as all the other streams uh, that have happened this week. Julia, thank you for being here. Thank you so much. Yay. Thank you for hosting me. Mm -hmm. You were amazing. Oh, thank you thank very you. much. Thank you were so all much. amazing, guys. Thank oh. you so much. <laughs> all right. Ciao, everyone. We're going to get out Ciao. of here and let Marley and Paul come on. Ciao. Stick around.
Thank <laughs> you.